Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, this is going to be a short one. I only got three things to show you. These are my skill saws. This is a two and an eighth horsepower, seven and a quarter inch sidewinder. I have my uh, good blade at my son's house, so I don't have a blade on this one right now. It works quite well. I picked this one up at an auction. Uh, this is the same kind of saw I used to buy for United Technologies. We did a lot of aluminum extrusion. That's what the plant did. And one of the things that we had to do is at the end of each extrusion, the operator had to cut off the tail and the beginning of the extrusion because it would be all messed up. So they'd take a handsaw and chop it off. Now, we went through a lot of different saws. These ball bearing skill saws were the best. They were light, strong, a lot of power, did a good job. One thing you had to watch was the guys always wanted to try and tie the guard back. Ended up with one fella, had the guard tied back. This one's unplugged and it doesn't have a blade on it. He was using the saw one handed. He'd take a hot pad and grab a hold of the aluminum extrusion with one hand. Then he'd take the saw and just run it across the aluminum and cut it off. Uh, he figured it was faster if he had the guard tied back because the guard wouldn't get hung up. Well, it caught, kicked back, went right into his leg. Cut him about an inch deep, right across the meat of that thigh. Never, ever, ever tie the guard back. Try and hold it with two hands if you can. Sometimes you end up doing it one-handed. One-handed is not safe. When you're holding it like that and you start to slip, first thing you do is grab tighter and that holds the trigger on. You don't want to do that. This is a 2.6 horsepower skill saw. It's a little fancier, you got a few bells and whistles on it. It's got a light, but the, the light doesn't work. But then for what I paid for it, I don't care if the light doesn't work. I was driving down the road headed towards work in Lansing. Sitting on top of a garbage can out by the road next to a pile of trash was this saw. I stopped, looked at it. Checked it out thought, well, the worst that can happen is it's still got a good blade on it, so I picked it up, put it in the trunk of the car, and brought it home. When I got back to the house, I loosened up the bolt and realized that they had this washer on backwards, so it was locking the motor up. Flipped the washer over, put it back together again. It's been a good saw ever since. This is one you've seen. I did a video on changing the oil on it and uh, fixing it up, replacing the handle. This is a monster saw. Lots of power. But it is very heavy. It does have one really cool thing about it. It's left-handed. So those times that you want to cut something on the left-hand side of something, you can use this saw and it's supported on the left-hand side. So this is a nice piece of equipment to have. It is a monster as far as cutting. It just will not stop. Cuts through everything. This is a Skill Model 77, seven and a quarter inch worm drive saw with ball bearings. They no longer sell parts for these. So when the main crank, when the main gear finally goes, 
This one's toast unless I make a new gear for it. Yeah, the worm gear's rattling pretty good. Something I came up with for tying up the, the cord on the bigger saws. These have quite long cords on them and they tend to get in the way of everything. Commercial Electric has these uh, cable ties. They're for computer cables or any kind of thing. And I found that I take one of these slip it over the cable, I can tie it up so it doesn't flop around. Works pretty good. Out of these three saws, I use this one the most. We used it to cut some cement blocks over at my son's house when we were making the foundation for his garage. Uh, it's got a lot of power. Uh, that's something that you really want to wear a dust mask though because I was totally covered in concrete dust when I was done. I always wear a respirator when I do those kind of things. Well that's my skill saws, all three of them. There's two more over at my son's house but they're his now. Clamps right on there. Cord doesn't flop around. Too bad I only have two of those little clamps. 
you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos in the channel, or you have a suggestion for a new video that you'd like to see, or just a question that you'd like to have answered in general, if I can answer it, I will. Just drop a note in the comments below. I read them all, you know. Thanks for watching. Thank you.